Despite her tough start, she's responding well to Sue's care and developing quite a strong personality. Someone that's not so sweet, but she certainly is. And um, I love the way that she's, she's just full of life, running around and everything, you know. Butting stuff and bulldozing through things is all typical wombat behaviour, which is great, because that's what we want to see. In the wild, Stacey would be living in a burrow with her mother. Her long, shovel-like claws are perfect for digging. And her strong teeth are designed for chewing roots, bark and vegetation, well adapted for a life in the bush although perhaps not best suited to Sue's living room. She's certainly not as um, easy to look after in, in the house. If you don't watch her, she can start chewing with the woodwork. But we've always got to be very careful to keep an eye on her when she's out. She tends to chew the curtains as well. Wombats are notoriously stubborn creatures and become quite territorial when they mature. But for Stacey, that's still a long way off. It'll be over a year before she can be released. So in the meantime, Sue must do everything she can to prepare her for her return to the wild. Today, I'm joining them for Stacey's first trip outside in Sue's garden. Let's get the last bit of this fence up so that Stacey doesn't do a runner. Stacey's been living inside up until now. About this age, they would start to emerge from the pouch. It's important that she gets used to the outside world and to the ground. Here she is. How are you going? All set up? She's ready. OK, I'll pass her over to you. Thanks. Climb over. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be great. Bit of, uh, bit of exploring on the grass. So I just yep, put her down Yep, just put her down, yep. Check it out, Stacey. She's not quite used to grass yet. In the wild, Stacy would be leaving the burrow for short exploratory trips. But always staying close to her mother. So this is actually typical behaviour. She sees me as mum. Yes. Sue, so why do they need to come outside when they're so young? Learning sight, smells, sounds, very important, you know, from a young age. If we kept her inside right through till she was almost ready to go outside at like 12, 14 months old, it would be such a shock and set her back. These excursions will help build Stacey's confidence. <laughs> Look at my tunnel. And already she's overcome her initial nerves. Oh, that's good. Come on. <laughs> she's pretty fast, isn't she? She is. They can do up to 40 kilometres an hour when they're adults. So wow. some quite fast. Sometimes they don't particularly look where they're going <laughs> and uh, bulldoze into things. Yeah. So she thinks that's her pouch. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's a trick. You're out. <laughs> How can you not love one of these? 